少しは構ってくれてもいいのよ。Greetings YouTube and welcome to part 56 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. And let's see what Rosaline has to say. アバル隊長おすすめされた本を読み終わったのとても興味深かったわ。Alright, Rosaline is returning a book that Avaro lent to her with his recommendation. She says it was interesting. Ah, well, that's good.、Uh, but why are you setting these books of mine all of a sudden? You should probably be looking after things you're interested in, you know? これからはアバロ隊長のそばにつくのだから少しは知識を身につけなければと思ったのよ。Well, she's going to be with Avaro for a while now, so she wanted to gather knowledge relevant to the situation. 単純に新しいことを知れるのが面白いというのもあるわ。技術書だって歴史を学んでいるようで楽しかった。Furthermore, it's simply interesting to learn new things. And the engineering and building professions have a history to them, which is fascinating. But Fia wants to see Rosaline smile. Where'd that come from? Her usual expression looks like a doll and it's cute and all, but she would also like to see her flat out laughing.、Uh, what the hell, all of a sudden? You sound like a guy trying to pick up a girl. Really? So, why do you want to see this smile? <laughs> she thinks a smile would be cuter. She certainly is capable of saying embarrassing things without showing any hesitation, as expected of Avaro's god. Wait a minute, did I give you that kind of impression? Alright, so let's ask Rosaline what it would take to make her laugh. Well, if she saw something interesting, it'd be normal to laugh, she thinks. Although she's lived for a very long time, she isn't exactly broken as a person, so that's how it should work. So, so if we entertain her, then she'll show us a smile, huh? Yes. Wait a minute, we? Alright, she's going to gather up some、uh, helpers. This can't be good. I wonder what kind of people we, she can rope into this. Well, she roped in the two most easily roped characters. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, the goddess has abducted us. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be real entertaining. Okay. And so we start our Get Rosaline to Smile party meeting. You still have the Dome Puffer? Get rid of that thing. I'll borrow break it. Do something. So it started. 
And Navarro got roped into it as well. Rosalina is looking forward to it. Yeah, if that's true, then why don't, could you smile a little just now? Huh? Okay, number one, Fia. Here she goes. Alright, one riddle. This is, has to do with the Guadalcuna Castle's head and a certain part of Avaro's body. I can't believe she's going to do this. This is lame. Nope, she really did it. In case you didn't know, the Japanese word for the glans penis is kito, or turtle head. So, she's likening the castle to Avaro's dick. That was, wasn't a riddle, it was just a dirty joke. And furthermore, an incredibly bad one. Oh, maybe I should have said they both look li they're both like turtles. That isn't any better. Basically the same. <laughs> that was interesting. I guess. Let's get to the next one. After Fia, these two. Um, number two, Mikael and Eo. What do we do? Uh, this isn't Mikael's cup of tea, so she's. A bit panicked. But Eel's got an idea, apparently. There's some whispering in ears here. Alright. A snowman! Whoosh! I'll eat it! Ha! This is the face she makes when she's really low on life. We finally got to see it in action. Ah, anyway. She eats the snowman in one bite. More! Make more of them! And she keeps eating them! And her head just starts giving a stabbing in it. She's really fast at eating. Well, eating these at least. I don't think she she can compete with Risha and Sally and other foods. So that going continues for a while until the two of them get tired of it. Ah, her snowman. Oh, that was tasty. But for some reason, Eel's head hurts now. So, Miki wanders away about as depressed as when she started, and Eel also takes a seat, holding her head. We clap, clap, clap. Why is there a clap sound effect? Why would you ever say it? Mm. So, Miki was able to make lots of ice things and he was able to eat lots of them. It's quite interesting and she'll attribute some value to it. Really? Of course. Huh. 
We really can't read this, girl. Alright, number three, Avaro. As expected, Avaro has to do something. What to do, what to do. Don't you get excited about this. This is supposed to be for Rosaline's sake. Oh, okay, if you say so. Oh, Avaro can't run away from this. I would. Alright. I set this aside, and now it's time to use it. Futon ga futonda. That's, uh, bed is futon, and futonda is past tense of fly away. So, he's making a bad pun about a bed flying away. There I go! Let's see how they react. Aww, we have really let Fia down. Well, the other two weren't impressed either. Were your acts any better? But Rosaline says it was very interesting. He could probably earn money with an act like that. Thanks. Ha. <laughs> But, her expression doesn't make even a flinch of change. <laughs> to think after all this, Rosaline doesn't show even the slightest hint of a smile. She's got a steel heart. Eh? That's the second time she's done that. All right, if it's come to this, let's keep at it. So, it's Fia's turn. Let's go with Avaro's 100 Embarrassing Secrets. Nai what? Why? And furthermore, if you're going to be airing secrets, why don't you use your own? Well, she would like to, but she doesn't have any memories of her past. Um, that's true. Now Varo feels a little bit sorry for snapping at her. And anyway, she doesn't like talking about herself. She likes to talk about Varo. Uh... G. <laughs> well, these two get along well, don't they? God and Apostle. Nah, if he was thinking if we could just go a bit further, then Rosaline would smile for us. Okay, by the way... What kind of smile do you want to see out of her anyway? Hmm, how about... Where she's rolling on the ground holding her sides. Yeah. Avaro doesn't really want to see Rosaline like that. Well, sorry. Rosaline thinks that a little bit difficult for her. Well, no. Feels a bit sorry too, because now that she thinks about it, not her strong suit, obviously. Just telling someone to laugh, there's not a lot of expectation it can possibly happen. If you talk around naturally, eventually it'll come out naturally. <laughs> yeah. And so, let's end the meeting. So, in the end, what did we get out of it? 
ただ恥ずかしい思いをしただけのようなハミケイズが思い出したのは何かまあまあ二人とも頑張ってくれたからこれから何かおごるよ何が食べたい Well, well, the two of them tried hard, so she'll treat them to something. What you want to eat? Kamisama, Josai ni saikin, atarashi o mise katekita, sakono o kashi. So, in the castle, there's recently been a new shop opened up. Io wants candy from that place. Yoshikita, kono kami ni makase na sai! Hobi o toras, kyo wa o kashi tabe hodai matsuri da yo! Alright then, leave it to this goddess here. She'll buy you this reward, and we'll eat lots of candy. Alright, Mike would like to remind us that she's an adult and she won't be roped in with something so simple as candy. But she's gonna go along anyway and eat so much that she won't be able to eat dinner tonight. All right, so Mikio is in, so let's go do it. And as she leaves, she gives Navarro a wink. Uh, does that mean that Navarro is supposed to handle Rosalie in here? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, Rosaline. Do you want to head somewhere and eat as well? Okay, she doesn't answer that. She instead asks, What happened to Fia just now? It seemed as if she didn't get what she wanted out of it. She felt like she had smiled for us. Not quite the way that Fia described it. Uh, you were smiling before? As far as Avaro was concerned, your expression did not change a bit. Eh? That's the third one, and now she explains. She thought that today she was... She was having so much fun today, she thought she would be entirely blown away. Uh, you were really smiling there? Of course she was. It was very interesting. In fact, tomorrow she's worried that the corners of her mouth will be hurting from it. So, it wasn't being considerate or sarcastic. Okay, I thought you were just saying nice things about uh, nice things to us out of consideration for our feelings. She wouldn't do something like that. And she was pleased that everybody was thinking about her so nicely. And she was even going so far as to play up her smiling a bit. So much she thought that everybody would catch on that she was overacting. Uh, no, you should learn how to use a mirror and practice a bit. Well, at least we've learned a bit about Rosaline here. And she is kind of lighthearted, even if her face isn't. Hmm, okay. If I was willing to say that much, it must be true. She 
she didn't know that her feelings didn't show on her face. Well, thanks then. Even at her age, she can learn things about herself. Or rather, become aware of a flaw in herself. Yeah, we wouldn't exactly say it was a flaw. <laughs> Rather than a flaw, we'd say it's characteristic of you. Hmm, <laughs> characteristic. She says that doesn't have a bad ring to it. So, how about you try showing some expressions on your face a bit? Alright then. She'd always been alone up to this point, so she must have gotten out of the habit of it. She'll try and be conscious of it from now on. And if she does, she thinks she'll get along better with the people. She'd like to get to the point where she can cry with people when they're sad and laugh with people when they're happy. So, well, that's good. I'm glad we both learned something about this. So, she agrees to try her best from now on. And, from this day on, from time to time, she, we would see a clumsy smile from her. But she takes her time and eventually gets used to it, I guess. I recall seeing her smile once, right before she fought us. It was really creepy, but it was a smile. Anyway, we're doing well here in the castle, so let's move on to our next battle map. So this is Rubeta Termes. It's a village. So this area is where a major thoroughfare going to the neighboring kingdom, Santa Si Eighth, goes through. So there should be a lot of traffic. And that's why the people gathered here and made a village. And it's close to Rishu and Celis Rao Rosso territory. And because it's close by, there should be hot springs here and there. Hot springs, huh? Theo wants to go with Avaro sometime. But Rishon and Sally wants to go with Avaro too. Give me a break. Theo wants to go first. She's his lover, and his wife, and his goddess, so she should be first. Ah, uh, enough of this. If we have the time, let's do it. But first, let's greet the townspeople and start our, you know, stuff. So, something weird is going on. Are we ever going to come to a town that doesn't have something weird going on? Now that we mention it, 
There aren't any people here. You can feel their presence, though. They're probably hiding somewhere. Rosaline thinks that they seem to be afraid of something or wary of something. So, they're wary of us? No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it would be weird for them to be wary of us just because we're outsiders. Since there's so much traffic here, there would there would be a lot of people that they don't know coming through a lot of the time. So it must be something else. Hmm. Well, if this continues on. We can't exactly do our company work, can we? So, there must be something going on. Let's go find it. So, I'm going to cut for now. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.